Hey, what is up everyone? Uh, I'm back after a long time and I'll be starting the continuing the Pearl for Bioinformatics series. Um, so before we go in any further, uh, I would like you to let you know that uh, oops. I would like to let you know that I have a repository up and running at GitHub where you can find all the example scripts I will be using to demonstrate uh, in my video series. So what you can do is you can go to this uh, this website address right here. Oops. This website address right here. You can go there and you can find all the example code I use. To demonstrate the video series okay now that's out of uh, that mentioned I would also like to mention about this uh, free open source ID called Komodo edit you can download it for Windows Mac and Linux um, it's, it's a useful tool when you're just starting to learn uh, Perl and uh, you know it's a good user environment where it highlights any syntax errors or if you have any tool tips like when you start writing a function or subroutine or any other Perl functions uh, it gives you tool tips about what that function you know the syntax of that function and so uh, we can see that when we start typing code in uh, Komodo edit um, today we will learn about uh, Perl operators basic arithmetic operators and other uh, things that would be useful, uh, you know, later when we start writing actual code to manipulate, you know, text and string for any of the uh, bioinformatics uh, uh, necessities. So the intention is to let this upfront, you know, various ways of using uh, writing code so that when we start writing um, for using in bioinformatics uh, you don't ask like hey that's that's I don't know what's that so I just wanna start uh, this video by uh, you know explaining different uh, Perl operators so I just uh, wrote this script um, so as you can see it's just a basic uh, you know, script with comments and you know author's name and stuff like that and as I mentioned in my previous video about using uh, these two modules called strings and war strict and warnings which enforces st strict syntax rules so that if you make any mistakes it throws out the error on the screen buffer if there is any you know syntax error so so uh, as you can see I just declared two variables with some numerical values assigned to them and also two other variables with string values assigned to them and uh, I have mentioned uh, sorry I have uh, you know declared different variables just by you know which demonstrates different uh, mathematic operations like addition subtraction multiplication which is denoted by star and pearl and division which is denoted by forward slash and exponential or to the power of which is denoted by two asterisks uh, there and also the reminder function which means that uh, x when divided by y whatever there is a reminder is assigned to the variable called reminder and um, it's, it's, it's generally suggested that you start commenting code as uh, as and when you start writing it so that when you come back after two or three months you don't say hey what the heck is this I don't I don't remember writing this um, so then we just print the above results showing you know different arithmetic operations so before we go any further I'll just execute the script to just see uh, see this output so that you know I'll, I'll comment out other print statements uh, which we'll talk about uh, later in this video. Oops, I don't have a terminal open. That's weird. Okay. Uh, 
So I have the script called Perl operator. So let's just go and execute that. So as you can see, just printed 27 plus 30, 37. It's just some basic uh, operators. Explain different basic operators. And now let's go to the other part of the code, which is uh, which discusses about the increment and decrement operators. There are two. The increment and dec decrement operators are again divided into two categories: the post increment operator and the pre increment. And the same way, there is a post decrement and pre decrement operator. And an increment or decrement is denoted by when you say increment and decrement, literally it means you're incrementing a value by one. It always increments or decrements the value by one. So, and it's always a numerical value. So, uh, when you say uh, you actually denote incrementing the value by plus plus, and you actually denote decrementing the value by minus minus, and depending upon, you know, defining it as a post increment or post decrement, the location of specifying this operator changes. So when it is a post increment, you just say dollar uh, x plus plus. And what what post increment means is, so when you say my dollar total value is equal to dollar x plus plus, it means that assigns the value of dollar x to total value and then it increments it. So uh, when you print total value, it will print the value of x. But then when you print the value of x, because we incremented the value of x by 1 after assigning it to total value, that's what post increment means. The value of x is incremented by 1. So we know that we assign the value of x as 27. So when we say my, do my dollar total value is equal to dollar x plus plus, the total value will be 27. But since we incremented it by 1 after you know, with the post increment denotation, din, 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 din uh, the value of x will be 28. So let's just test that out by just commenting these two statements, print statements. So as you can see here, uh, the total value is 27 because before this statement we said my dollar total value is equal to dollar x plus plus. But since we since dollar x plus plus is mentioned later, the value is x28. So you can you can understand this in this way because Perl is an interpreter language. Um, when you execute the code, it compiles and and then execute the code at the same time. So it compiles a code line by line. So literally. When it comes to this line, it, it reads from left to right. So my dollar total value is equal to dollar x. So the user wants it to assign to dollar total value. Okay, then I assign 27 to 28, and then it's incremented. So it's it's not it's roughly like that. You can understand something you know roughly like that. And um, coming to the post decrement value, it's similar to the post increment value, except we are decreasing the value by one. So, since after <coughs> after this statement, the value of x would be 28 because we incremented here by plus 1. So, when you say my dollar post decremented value is equal to dollar x minus minus, the value of dollar x, which is 28, would be assigned first to this variable and then it would be decremented by 1. So, when you print first uh, this statement, the value would be 28 but then when you print the value of x again it would be 27 so to demonstrate that as well we'll print that one so as you can see the incremented value of x was 28 because after that x plus plus then we assigned you know with, then we wrote a statement which says post decremented value is equal to dollar x minus minus since it was 28 it was assigned to decremented value variable and then it was decremented by 1 and now when we print x it is 27 so now let's go further down so these are post increment and decrement uh, denotations now we come to the pre increment and decrement uh, denotations which means that it 
it increments or decrements the value before assigning it to a variable. So when I say since after this statement the x is 27 now I say pre-increment value is equal to plus plus dollar x which means that it increments x from 27 to 28 and then assigns its value to this variable. So dollar x and dollar uh, sorry dollar pre-increment value and dollar x would be the same because you know we did not do any other operation after pre-incrementing the variable so it would both be 28 as you can see the pre-increment value and the value later is, at, is 28 now we uh, you know just the exact opposite of that is the pre-decrement value which is you know decrements the value from 27 I suppose it is 20 sorry it's 28 from 28 to 27 and then assigns it so you see 27 two times here because you are not performing any other operation after pre-decrementing the value so let's just clear my screen buffer here oh I did not uncomment it uh, oh I did uncomment why is it not printing oh i did not save it okay okay so pre-decrement value i decremented it before assigning it and sorry i decremented it and then after assigned it to that variable so it prints 27 and since we did not perform any operations on the x variable dollar x variable the value still remains 27 and now coming to another function called concatenation which means just you know pasting to two variables so here I have these two strings called uh, string 1 and string 2 variables uh, variable name with variable names and you know string 1 contains my name is and string 2 store is is, is by a coder so the concatenation function is generally denoted by dot so that's the concatenation function uh, so when I say print string 1 and string 2 it just prints string 1 and string 2 so my name is and by a quarter as you can see I printed two new lines here and now when I say what I'm doing is I'm concatenating uh, sorry I shouldn't have it. I'm concatenating these two strings by the dot operator which means the concatenation operator so it will just paste those uh, ligates those two strings together sorry I did not print that so it, the concatenated string is my name is and then it pasted my name is sorry it pasted by a quarter string to the my name is you don't see a space here because I did not you know add a space there you know there but what I can do is I can you know just to demonstrate I can add a space there inside uh, two single codes and then concatenate the string so I'm concatenating string one with space first and then I'm concatenating string two so that I can see a space so now I can see a space between E's and the biocoder. So that's uh, oops, sorry. So that's basically the way you know concatenation and different uh, operators work in Pro. So what I'll do in the next video is we'll talk about uh, lists, which is array variables and some array functions. And then we'll write our first, you know, short program that does something with DNA strings, DNA or RNA strings, or something like that. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you in next video. Oops. Sorry, I'm still here, but.